And here's another example of how we deal with Newton's laws. In particular, we're going to look at the third law, action-reaction forces here. We have a simple example where we have a table with a pulley on one edge. We have a weight hanging down from the pulley on a string connected to a little spring balance, something you can measure the tension with, and then connected to some plate at the back end that's strong, holding everything in place. Let's say the mass is 10 kilograms. What's the tension on this spring scale right here? And so what we should do first is look at the weight right here, which will translate into the tension in this cable right there. Uh, well, we start off with the weight due to gravity. So we have a force pulling down on this mass equal to the weight, mg. And since this is not moving, since it's not moving, it's not accelerating, it's just staying in place, that means that the net forces in the, in the y direction here must equal to zero. We can say that the sum of the forces in the y direction add up to zero. So we have a positive tension and a negative mg. When we add them up, we get zero, which means that the tension is equal to the weight of this mass. In this case, this is equal to 10 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared for the acceleration due to gravity. And of course, that gives a tension of 98 newtons. Now, what should we read on this scale right there? Well, since this tension is connected here, this string is connected to this weight right here, if we now take a look at this and take it over here and draw a free body diagram, so here's the scale, here's the hook, here's the string, here's the wall, and um, so here's the scale reading. And so we go ahead and draw a free body diagram here what should we see? Well, notice that we have a force pulling to the left equal to 98 newtons. So we have tension in this way. Tension equals 98 newtons. And of course, if something is pulling this way with 98 newtons, we have to have something else on the other side. Equal in magnitude, opposite direction, otherwise there's going to be an acceleration. So we should have a force right here. Tension equals 98 newtons in the opposite direction. And so we can see that these cancel each other out and the scale will stay in place and not accelerate. So if we pull with a tension of 98 newtons this way, we pull with a tension of 98 newtons this way, what should this scale read? Yes, you guessed it. It should read 98 newtons and that's the tension in the scale. All right, so let's now go ahead and show you on the next example a slight variant of this problem and see if that makes any difference.